David Duke, at least was reported that he is considering running for Congress. Now, he ran for Congress once before. Uh, he ran in a race against David Vitter, who defeated uh, Duke. Um, and in fact, uh, John Treen was also in that election. That is the race that actually launched David Vitter's career from District 81 to Congress and then to U.S. Senate. So what does this mean for David Duke? And what does this mean for, let's say, uh, the national elections, particularly the presidential elections? Well, first of all, I think that the idea that David uh, Duke would even be considered running is uh, and should be treated as a real joke. So again, what does uh, this mean for David Duke? Uh, I'm assuming that it means that he's able to generate some revenues for himself. Uh, he can uh, probably muster up support from uh, various organizations, uh, uh, .alt organizations, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, other social media, uh, who knows, um, you know, maybe even ISIS, uh, just joking, but uh, certainly those who are using the internet, using it powerfully and and uh, who uh, believe in the same type of right-wing uh, logic politics that David Duke has embraced now for all his life. If he does consolidate, if he is able to recruit, uh, if he is able to get money, then suddenly the question becomes, well, will he be competitive? Well, it's not like he will be running alone in order against himself. He will be running uh, against Steve Scalise, number three in Congress at this point in time. Some people in Louisiana are very upset with uh, Scalise, but the question becomes, well, am I that upset with Scalise that I would go ahead and uh, go and vote for David Duke? Um, it's hard for me to accept that as being the case. Um, let's just assume for a second, let's assume that he does run. What does that mean? Well, certainly it's news. No question, it is news. He is a newsmaker. I know I've heard people uh, on, say, right-wing uh, conservative radio say uh, to me, who cares about what David Duke thinks? Well, a lot of people care about what he thinks. Uh, and what he does. Uh, they watch him over the internet. They uh, tweet his tweets. Uh, I think that probably uh, certainly Donald Trump cares about what he has to say. He certainly didn't go out of his own way to be able to disassociate himself um, in a way that he has attacked people that he was running against, there was not the emotionality uh, that he had against, uh, say, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, Cruz, Rubio, Bush, and so on. It was more lukewarm, you know, hey, you know, I, I certainly don't want to, I don't uh, believe anything that he believes in, I don't want to support that kind of uh, real milk toast type of uh, response. Uh, and of course, you know, there's an issue as to whether or not he was actually forced to make the response. And then there's been the issues as to uh, is he saying one thing to one group, meaning Trump, uh, uh, about Duke and others, yet uh, sending out dog signals, whistles to the far right, uh, the uh, Jewish star, star David uh, situation. I think is a pretty good example and why people you know don't necessarily believe Donald Trump is sincere uh, about really distancing himself from David Duke. But now he might have to, and the reason why is because of the fact that um, people will put Duke and Trump in the same basket. Uh, I mean, and Trump really has 
has put himself there. He's the one who has basically said, you know, we need to stop certain people coming in based upon their religion. He's the one who said we need to evict, you know, 12 or 13 million uh, Hispanics. He's the one who said that, you know, that he will build the wall and have Mexico pay for it. Um, he, he's the one who has made certain statements that others believe, you know, were uh, uh, ad, that agitated. And yeah, I mean, certainly, without doubt, uh, you know, uh, people have taken his rhetoric and have uh, become violent. Uh, some would argue, just like they argue against uh, Obama uh, and what's happening with the uh, police shootings uh, and, and blame Obama, well, some people certainly blame uh, Donald Trump for the type of activities that are going on on Twitter by right-wing people against uh, minorities uh, and particularly Jewish people. So um, I think that Donald Trump has a real issue here. Um, I, I think that there is a real question as to whether or not he is able to disassociate himself clearly from David Duke, should David Duke run. Um, I mean, every time, they, every time Duke makes a statement, they, in my view, there's going to be the issue, you know, to, uh, to, to Donald Trump. Well, what is your response? How is your opinion different? Um, you know, and especially if other candidates decide to run too. Uh, if other candidates decide uh, to, uh, say, run for Congress, other right-wing candidates. Um, so, you know, some people may say this is the Duke-Trump ticket. Uh, in terms of David Duke and Donald Trump, uh, you know, promoting uh, hate, uh, lack of toleration, uh, and uh, say intense nationalism. Uh, I, I believe in many respects uh, a, a sense of say fascism, uh, government control of uh, certain operations. Uh, and, and so these are issues I, I gotta tell you, I mean, are going to resonate in certain audiences. Um, and I think David Duke does become relevant and becomes relevant to the presidential election just by the fact that, that what he's saying is very similar to what Donald Trump is saying. What David Duke did say was that, you know, that whites would basically be, uh, would, would, would be traitors uh, or be acting uh, traitors if they didn't vote for Donald Trump. And I can tell you the right-wingers who support uh, uh, David Duke certainly seem to echo that. So if you have somebody running for Congress who says, who says that it's very obvious, very clear, that we whites, we European Americans, should vote for Donald Trump, that he's our hope, uh, it's going to be somewhat difficult, I think, for Donald Trump to say, well, wait, hold, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, thank you very much, uh, please vote for me, but please don't consider yourself a traitor for voting for me. I mean, you know, it's going to be difficult for Donald Trump, I think, to distance himself. So, uh, you know, Donald Trump might say that this is a conspiracy against him, that certain people are trying to uh, get Duke to run to uh, maybe minimize Trump's own chances. But that's Trump's fault, you know, to put himself in a situation where he has to be compared to David Duke. So... 
this is my opinion at this point in time. Uh, there's a lot to be said in terms of what might happen, what will happen. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, I think that the election uh, season has been you know, certainly incredibly sus uh, active, suspenseful. Uh, the annual level, I think, has really been higher than any other time that I remember uh, in, in uh, uh, presidential history. Uh, I think that uh, an incident like this, a, a far extreme right winger, uh, who embraces uh, neo-Nazism, in my opinion, who has honored Adolf Hitler, who has made some of the very claims that Donald uh, Trump has made. It's really interesting and it's going to be interesting in terms of how this plays out. So I, for one, certainly hope that uh, David Dukes remains in the hole that he's been in for ever since getting out of prison, uh, that he does not become more of a commodity. Uh, but still, it's something that needs to be discussed because it could happen. And if it does happen, you got to blame, you have to blame Donald Trump for making possibly the monster mirror that that in many ways just reflects himself. Thank you.